And Willie Cancel was a private military contractor fighting for Ukraine. But what exactly does that mean? News Nation correspondent Tom Dempsey joins us now live from Washington, D.C. And Tom, you learned this is actually a huge industry. Yeah, absolutely, Ruta Bay. An expert we spoke to estimated that the private military contracting industry actually attracts $220 billion a year around the globe. That's billion with a B. But one really important thing to know when we are talking about these contractors is that they're hired for protective reasons, defensive reasons, not to go on offense or not for combat missions. And as far as who makes a good candidate for these contracting jobs, you can imagine veterans make good, great recruits for this and also people with law enforcement backgrounds. And these contracting companies really hire recruits all around the globe. And as far as this Ukrainian conflict is concerned, you know, as far as why a private military contractor would be used, the experts said they might be used to help evacuate possibly a wealthy Ukrainian family or to help on a rescue mission or to protect aid workers and diplomats. The use of these private military contractors surged during the Afghanistan and Iraq wars, and they were used to organize logistics on bases and to help with security. In fact, one reason why the Afghan military possibly fell so quickly last year came from contractors leaving with U.S. troops. Now, following the death of this 22-year-old contractor in Ukraine, the company that Willie Cancel worked for still remains a mystery throughout all this uh, investigation. But investigators say with wealthy families desperately trying to get out of Ukraine, the work can be lucrative as a private military contractor. But for now, it's best to keep a low profile. I think it's highly unlikely that the U.S. government would authorize any U.S. company to work there because we're working very hard not to give the Russians a pretext to expand, to see NATO and the U.S. as actively involved in the conflict. And as we just saw in Tom Nagovin's report for News Nation, that Cancel's family added that uh, he worked as he served as a Marine and also a full time corrections officer in Tennessee, making him a really prime candidate to serve in these contractor roles. Rudabay. So, Tom, do, you, do we know if Russia is using the same type of contractor as well? Yeah, that's a big talker right now. They're actually using hundreds of these military contractors. But what makes the Russian case much different is that they have very little oversight and accountability in Russia. So you can imagine with that little oversight and accountability, the safety of the Ukrainians right now remains a big concern. All right, Tom, great reporting. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.